What's good gamers? It's Roll Easy and I'm back with a second video today. This is for all you guys that do not have custom plates or your dirty players, you know, you got rid of them or you just you're too lazy to go on the iFruit app and buy them or you know, you don't have access to your uh, you know, to the iFruit account just because, you know, maybe you're using your mom's email address or something like that. This is all for you guys that just don't have custom plates and you still want to have the luxury of being able to dupe these cars. All right, so here we go. Make sure to like the video, comment, subscribe down below, you know, press that red button and turn on post notifications for the freshest and most informative dope GTA 5 online content. You know the deal. Now I'm going to call my mechanic right here and I'm going to show you guys the garage we're going to be using. Uh, right here, it's going to be, you got two Fagios, you see right there at the bottom. All right, got, you know, eight Sultans, two Fagios. That's our Eclipse Tower like we've been using for this glitch past like four videos. So I just wanted to make sure you guys are cleared up on that, all right? What you're going to need for this glitch is the MOC with the personal vehicle storage, Sultan RS, no other car. Put that short lip spoiler on there. It will make the glitch a bit easier. Make sure, uh, oh yeah, you don't need custom plates for this whatsoever. You know, you can have a regular generic plate on your car, you know? Uh, any garage with Fagios or RH8s, I recommend Fagios. You will do this much, much quicker with Fagios. Make sure you're in an invite-only session and you got your MOC parked on a flat surface so that you can get that animation. It does make a difference. Now remember the fails. If your car disappears and it's not in the MOC, it spawns under the map or it spawns on the docks, you know, like you just return vehicle to storage. That's all you got to do. And make sure you start every time you want to do this glitch. Make sure you start out by pulling the Sultan out and then pulling it right back in and then attempt the glitch, okay? It will help you as well. So here we go. Now I get in here. I'm going to press up on the D-pad and flick left trigger at the same time. Boom. Now I'm going to fast forward through those loading screens so this video doesn't take forever. And remember, just up on the D-pad and flick left trigger. That's, uh, that's L2, I believe, on, uh, on PlayStation. And I'm going to walk in here, touch the car. Boom. Spawns right on top. That's what you want to see. Remember, these two cars are bricked. We can't jump in them anymore as part of the patch. So... What you're going to be doing now is you're going to be exiting the MOC. And once we're outside, we're actually going to go ahead and call up one of our Fagios. Remember, if you have an RH8, you're going to have to go and run over to, or you can call your mechanic this one time, but then you also, you got to wait five minutes every time you want to call your mechanic again for another RH8. Or you can have it really close to your garage and just keep pulling the RH8s out. Like I said, the Fagios are much easier. Yeah, they're five grand a pop, but you can order them straight from your MC menu. To me, they're much, much quicker. I highly recommend them. So go ahead. You got to bring the uh, the Fagio or RH8. Don't get off of it like I just did right there. And this time, instead of leaving it outside, you're actually going to go ahead and park it in. You're going to get the message that it says that you need to transfer vehicles. You're going to go ahead and accept that. Now, what this is going to do is it's going to transfer the car that was on top, the Sultan on top, back to the garage where we got the Fagio from. And take a look inside the car. You actually got the Fagio sitting glitched inside the car. If you have an RH8, they'll be glitched into each other. Now, this is what you want to see. So go ahead and open up your internet, and you're actually going to go to Legendary Motorsports, and you're going to order up a fresh Elegy right over the MOC. And look what it says on the MOC menu. It says Fagio, okay? So you're not ordering it over your Sultan. You're ordering it over your Fagio, you know? And there it goes. It disappeared. Your Sultan is still in there. That's what you want to see, all right? That is good news right there. So you're going to have to, you know, you got to wait for it to be delivered. But before then, you need to pull your Sultan out of the garage. So go ahead and make your way. I don't know why I just kind of started standing here. So I just fast forwarded. But you're going to want to go ahead and get inside your Sultan and go ahead and pull that bitch out. You don't want it in there when that car gets delivered. It will fuck up the glitch. So once you're outside, you can see right there. Look at that. The plate changed. 42 KBL. I had that Icarus plate, you know, the custom plate that I had on there just to show you guys that it does indeed change. And this is why you don't need custom plates because when you drive out, it changes the plate for you. You know, you're not creating a dirty duplicate. Uh, so this is good, like I said, for all you dirty players out there, guys that can't have custom plates. Now I'm just going to fast forward while we're waiting over here. And you can see you got to wait for the LG to get delivered. Once you get the text message that it's been delivered, go ahead and drive back in. You'll see that animation. Make sure you're on a flat surface, guys. You want to see that animation. And just like that, the car is saved. Simple as that. So go ahead and go back inside, and now you're going to proceed to do the glitch. So up on the D-pad, flick left trigger at the same time, basically. It's like a nanosecond after, but it's basically the same time. Okay, so now that we're at this stage, we spawn outside. This is how you want to spawn outside, you know, without the car. You don't want to see it at the docks or disappeared or anything. If any of that happens, just simply return to storage, guys. Make sure you're listening. I already saw some, you know, some you know, in the comments. Somebody was asking what is happening. And take a look right there. 
the cars are glitched into each other. You see, I got two wings, two tires on each of those sides, two of those uh, rear view mirrors. There's two cars in here, guys. So a lot of you might not really realize that and be like, damn, they're not on top of each other. Let me do the glitch again. No, don't do it again. There's two cars there. So I wanted to run out of the MOC and I wanted to run back inside to show you guys that indeed they there are two cars and watch what happens when you run back in. Whenever you see them, them glitched into each other, come uh, go outside go back in and there you go they're stacked on top of each other just like that now you're gonna have two cars in there that's what you want to see go ahead and call up another Fagio or once again your RH8 you'd have to go you know at this point if you if you took less than five minutes you'd have to go up and you'd have to go into your garage and get the RH8 and drive it back you know it's it's just it's a hassle I recommend just using the uh, the Fagios much much easier so Go ahead and pull up your Fagio right behind the MOC. As you can see right here, we're doing this. So many C's, man. And uh, press right D-pad. You're going to get the option to transfer vehicles. Go ahead and accept it. Once you spawn back inside of there, you're going to see, as you, you can see the little light right there. I'm going to move the camera, but there you go. You got the white Fagio inside the Sultan. Okay, I wanted to show you guys two dupes in a row. It does take a little bit longer than the other method, but like I said, if you don't got custom plates, this is your only money glitch that you know that you're able to do right now. So take advantage of it. Now go ahead and uh, open up your internet, and we're gonna proceed to do the same thing we did before: legendary motorsport, and we're gonna order up another free elegy. Really easy to get the free elegy by hitting source by price. It ends up right there at the front. Order any color, doesn't matter. And then you're gonna go down. Don't order i almost ordered in that at eclipse towers and yeah you're going to replace it over the fagio that's in your moc go ahead and exit out of the internet and you're going to jump into this sultan right here as you can see the fagio inside has disappeared that's what you want to see now go ahead and drive it out and you're going to see these plates change again all right so i'm going to show you the plates 42 kbl you see that now once we drive out just press right trigger or left doesn't matter which one take a look at the plate now 63 dfi Every time you do this, guys, you're going to get a brand new clean plate. This is a clean duplicate, okay? You will not get dupe detected with these plates. And if you have no choice, you have no choice. But, yeah, these, I would always recommend using custom plates. But, like I said, if you don't have them, this is all you got. So, fast forwarding to wait for them to get delivered, or wait for the LG to get delivered, the one that we ordered. And we should see it pop up. There we go. We got the text message. Go ahead and drive back in. Now, once we go back in... The car is saved. That's basically why we have to drive back in every time. So there we go. Remember at the beginning of the video, I showed you guys the Eclipse Tower Garage. We had two of the uh, of the you know Fagios there. Those are the two that I called up. And whenever we transferred vehicles, that one dupe that was on or that one car on top that went over to the garage. That was actually I'm not sure if it was the original or the dupe. To be honest, I do believe the car we drive outside is the dupe. Uh, so the one that was uh, on top is the original. It makes sense for that to be that way, honestly, because this is the one that gets the plate change. So right now I'm actually going to make my way over to the Eclipse Tower Garage just to prove to you guys that those two cars that were transferred when we brought in the Fagio into the MOC did indeed go there. And as you can see, you know, it's full, but I'm going to prove to you guys by actually running in there and showing you that the garage is indeed going to be full of my Sultan RSs. I actually had so many Sultans from the last video I posted, I had to actually order up two Fagios over these and just erase two of the cars. This is so easy to do. My garages are just filled with Sultans and, and, and even, you know, retro elegies from the last glitches that I find myself having to, to literally dupe over already duped cars and having to replace them with Fagios or RHAs to be able to bring you guys the videos. I, there's way too many dupes on this account, man. I'm trying to sell as many as I can, but I wanted to prove to you guys also here in the mechanics list that it is indeed the Eclipse Tower garage right there. There's all the Sultans, you know, they are all duped. And yeah, once again, guys, if you have any questions, that is the glitch. It does take a bit longer, but with the cu you know no custom plates, it's a very safe way to do it. You do not want to do the last glitch without custom plates. I'll put a link down there in the description for everybody that has custom plates and wants to do the quicker method. Yeah, I'm telling you, you can dupe a car every like 30 seconds to a minute with the other method. It's simple as hell. This one takes a little bit more time. You got to wait for the RHAs to get delivered, but it is well worth it if you don't have custom plates, like I said already. Now, shout out to the founders, Eastside Boy, Freight Train, What the Fudge, and Clones. Guys, go check them out. They're awesome guys. Now, that's going to be it for me. Once again, it's Roll Easy. I love bringing you guys this content, and I'm going to keep doing it as quick as possible, you know, humanly possible. We got a hurricane coming my way. I live over here in Florida. 
And uh, yeah, we got a Category 4 hurricane coming up later this week. So I don't know what's going to be happening, guys, but I'll keep you guys posted on that. Uh, anybody else that lives in Florida, hope you guys are going to be safe. Uh, start preparing now, man, because it's fucking coming. And uh, yeah, so any questions, put them down there in the comments. Uh, make sure you like the video if you did enjoy it by pressing that blue thumbs up. Comment down below questions, you know, concerns, just nice things you want to say. Anything you want to put down there, go ahead. Uh, subscribe, press that red button if you're new, and turn on post notifications so you can be notified the instant I come out with the freshest and most informative dope GTA 5 online content. I'm Roll Easy, and I'm out. Peace. Peace.